Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. Shed antlers is what we are after today. And I'm here in White Rhyme Ridge in the southern part at the lodge. And I'm not gonna talk long, let's just get started. We now have shed antlers in all the reserves where there is deer. And here in White Rhyme we have moose and we have Sitka deer. And we can find the shed antlers for these two deer species anywhere in the reserve, even when, there, when the uh, deer species are not there, like in the very north, uh, there is no moose, let's say, then you will still find moose antlers. So I'm just gonna start here, walk around the southern part. And just look around, maybe walk a bit slower. We'll do some hunting. First call here is very normal. It's from Sitka deer, sometimes from moose, but it's mostly Sitka land. The bison will start further up north. And usually the collectibles can be seen from 26 meters away. So you really have to be close. It's the same as the mushroom. So if you look here, antlers out here, I wouldn't see already. Even though they're dark on white, I have to be close to them. And we have a sitcom female. There's really many of them here. But I would guess the shed antlers follow the normal collectible rules. So the antlers would be spread like any other collectible, like mushroom, just anywhere on the map. And about with the same distribution. So there's single antlers and double antlers. And if we find, for example, moose antlers, uh, they would score like normal moose would score. So let's say uh, you have a really nice moose scoring 200. And if you fair find a pair, they would score 200. If you find a single uh, antler, it would just cut, be cut in half, so that would be 100 points for that. And what's really nice also is there's leaderboards. So if you find really nice antlers, you will find yourselves on those leaderboards. What I don't think they do is shed antlers of non-typicals. We wouldn't find them here, of course. There is no non-typical Sitka around. But for the mule deer, for black tail, for white tails, that'd be really fun to find non-typical shed antlers. So let's just walk over this hill. I think we can anticipate the next deer calling. 
What you can do, of course, is hit the X key and then look around. But I just go dizzy. I would just turn everything together. This is a feature a lot of people have asked for for many years, actually. And it's really cool that they have implemented this. They're using the same functionality uh, that they're using to calculate or produce the antlers of the live deer. So they're using their true racks function, which is true rantler antler configuration system uh, to produce these antlers. And what's really also nice is they belong to the treasures in your ranks. Treasures are hard to find. Uh, those are the the shark tooth and eagle feather and the knives in bush rangers. Not easy to find. But now with the shed antlers, we should be able to find more treasures. I usually hunt here at 5 in the morning because then you can see the best, you can see the tracks after 7.30. It's really glaring bright, it's really hard to see anything. So until we, we find anything on the ground, we will just collect antlers on the living creatures. The deer is just on the other side of this hill. I think I can just make it up on the hill before the deer gets there. Ambient sounds are really great here in this reserve. Really feels like it's freezing cold. There's a moose calling. Now we have choices. What makes this map so easy and maybe also a favor a favorite of many is you can really see far there's no dense forests so i should be able to see that moose here shortly unless i spook the sitka There's the buck. <coughs> and the bull must be over here somewhere. Here's a cow. That's not going to shed any antlers for us. Although the shed antlers are totally independent of the animals. You will certainly not see a bull walking around with no antlers. So there is no combo, no relationship between the animals and the antlers. Bull must have walked behind the hill. And 
and I hit the spine of the moose. So we're doing some hunting here. Of course, we can't expect to pick up antlers after a few meters. Here's the buck, mid-sized buck. Actually, more a smaller buck. And the moose died. The 762 is probably one of the strongest classic rifles. It's really good. There you go, spine shot. Oops, what did it say? That's a small one. That's not the bull worth going after. Max weight for moose is 620. And you want to look for those, the chances are better to have a good score. And we'll continue. Oops. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Our first shed antler is a roe deer. <laughs> it's a moose. So let's guess this one. Oh, that's going to be really, really tiny. So let's see, uh, maybe 80 points and that divided by two. This is a single one, 40 points. Let's see. Yeah, 33 points. This is our first shed antler. Really nice with the symbol also. 33 points. If this would have been a moose, would have scored 70 points. That is tiny. All right, there you go. First shed antlers picked up. I, I just said you can't expect them to to be around everywhere. You can't find them after a few minutes. Of course you can. It's totally random. How many times have I started and picked up a mushroom right away? But uh, in average, you will have to walk a few minutes every time. Or actually, I'm running. So that's great. We have our first shed antler. I will now be on the leaderboard, although at the bottom. <laughs> now they said that finding pairs is really rare, is really hard. I've seen some posts on the forum and also seen videos of people picking up doubles. That's great, so if you find this, enjoy those. I don't think I will find some here today. We'd have to be lucky, but that's the point about it. You have to be lucky and the more difficult it is, the more you will enjoy your findings. I meant to go north and I kept going west, but that doesn't make a difference. I will again switch to walking. So I've actually missed the antler. I've actually ran past it. That is disturbing. I would have missed it if the hunter mate wouldn't have beeped. I ran exactly over it. So that means, yes, A, I am blind, but B, it's not that easy after all. They don't glow. If you play Call of the Wild, you will find shed antlers in very specific places, always in the same places. You can share those places with your friends. They can go and pick them up and they glow from far. And once you pick them up, they are gone from the game pretty much. But here, every time you start a new session, antlers will be spread over the reserve. Just the same as the mushroom or as the pots of gold or as the... Um, pumpkins on Thanksgiving and whatnot. By the way, check out the wiki page for collectibles and you will find all the info there, what you can find on which reserve you can find which collectibles and so forth. Which reminds me, I should maybe pay, take a picture, a good picture, full, sc uh, full screen with one of the antlers. So hopefully when I find a pair, I will remember, take a nice picture of those. And add them to the wiki page as well. Cool. 
So even though White Rime is an easy map for longer viewing of or seeing of the animal, animals can be seen from further away. Due to the little density of vegetation, even though that is the case here, the shed antlers cannot be found easier, I think. Because you still have all the grass here at the bo at the ground. So it's not really any easier. Well, if you see antlers dark on the white snow, of course you will uh, you will detect them. But many times they can be in the grass, of course. Well, there's nothing around right now. So let's just run a bit more. Wow, that was a tiny, tiny antler. I think this is our moose. The 440 to 520. Could this be? So this tiny moose antler, I, I actually missed. I didn't see it. The hunter mate detected it, thankfully. So roe deer antlers might be a challenge. They will be tiny. Some are as, as large as the uh, knives in bush rangers. What they've done today also is they have started a nice photo trophy, a little photo competition. So if you find antlers, make a good picture. Uh, maybe if you're in multiplayer, have someone else take a picture of you and the antlers. And then submit it, you can win something. So I spooked the moose. Don't get discouraged if you find all these little moose. The large ones are out out there. You just need to hunt enough. 490 to 530, that could be this one. It's now gonna adjust. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I spotted it already. That's why the numbers are correct or the same. And I think I can shoot this from here with this rifle. One challenge here in White Rhyme is the hills, the artificial little snow hills. I don't know why they put them here, something like this. So there could be an antler underneath underneath here or here. There could be one in here, you wouldn't see it. Hunter mate would detect it and beep, but you wouldn't see it from far. Must have hit the lungs on this one. And the spine as well. We're now coming slowly towards the um, towards the bison. The tent that's coming up here on the hunter made map is for bison hunting. And there's no more sit cup here. But it doesn't matter as far as the antlers, like said. The antlers will be everywhere. So 
So we'll have to be lucky or this could take hours. Little hill here where you can look down. Bison are really hard to hear you. <laughs> they have a hard time hearing you and there you go. This guy didn't hear me. So you can run a lot. Actually you can run up to them. They don't care. So for bison hunting this is really good. Uh, these hills you can glass around you will see them. If they are there of course. There's more over there. I will leave this guy alone. It's a small male. And let's not forget to look on the ground. We came for the an antlers. have to be careful with the bison they will attack I think pretty much every time they attack if you come too close you cannot just walk by them and like doop -de doop -de doo I don't do you anything they will come so it can be awkward if you're sneaking after something and then the bison come so this guy is already turning around And going through the brain is your best bet, even with bows. There you go, brain shot. Oh, unpermitted. <laughs> Oops. All right. Ah, yeah, the bison. They are special. No shotguns. Many of the rifles are not allowed to you to be used. Oh well. I'm sorry. May you spawn again in my next session here. And I will shoot you properly. So I'm sticking to the brighter parts here. Not going into the bushes over there. But maybe that's where they hide them. Can you imagine Doc walking around here, putting antlers behind rocks so you can find them? What would be really cool is if you would end the hunting session and the game would tell you you have not picked up the following antlers and it will give you all the scores. That would be really cool. So you could be upset after every hunt. <laughs> what you've missed. Oh boy, that would cause a lot of forum posts. Look what I missed. Can't believe it. Oh, no more bison. Today, I brought another gun which is also not allowed. So what we will do is, let's do a little cut here and as soon as I pick up more antlers, that's when we go live again on this channel. I'll see you right away. Look, another one, and a massive one it is. Wow, this is going to be a lot larger than the other one. 
Oh boy, another roe deer antler, I guess. Uh, no, this is a tiny moose. So let's see, the other one scored 33. <laughs> this is even smaller, I don't know. Maybe 30 or something, let's see. Oh, 39! I have a new personal best shed antler. 39 points. Ooh! Now this is interesting. This hill just came back. Oh, so I take everything back that I said before. The antlers could be underneath the hill. That is not true then. So apparently they remove the objects around it so you can find it easier. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. As soon as I removed the antler, the hill came back. So that's great. So we can find these antlers better. So this was a little outing here in White Rime Ridge. We shot around widely as usual, shot some animals, but also find some shed antlers. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find a lot of antlers. Go out there and look for them. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.